Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online. We are here with Rose Stone and a beautiful new puppy today. So last time we ran off looking for the lost puppies of Fort Pinta and this little one was the one that just had me up a wall. I was looking for it for like almost an hour. I was so frantic and it turns out it was hiding in the flowers the whole time. And I thought there is no pet more perfect for me than one who spends the entire time hiding in flowers so that's why we got the little puppy it needs a new name i hope you guys can help me come up with a good name for it but don't worry it and thistledown are actually like sharing sharing the space right now and they're both little spots they could be like siblings they could call each other little siblings that would be adorable but all right so we are going to spend some more time in fort pinta today working with the security guard to find the other missing pets and then if we have time we're going to go down and see what tim is up to but we're slowly but surely working our way through a whole bunch of the different quests Many of them we just need to give a little bit more time and I can't wait to see what Wednesday's updates are going to offer for us because this week's updates are in Epona and I have not unlocked that area. So props to all of you who get to play with the eight-legged spiders. All right, we're going to pop over to the security guard. <laughs> Point two, find the rabbits. Five rabbits have escaped from their cages and must be recaptured. The rabbits are reported to like green and vegetables, so it's best to start off the search where things are growing, like bushes or other vegetation. Go, go, go. All right, well, that's what he said about that the puppies would be near people. And I ended up finding the puppies mostly inside of bushes. So this time we're going to be looking for the bunny. So the missing rabbits. Thistle down. Maybe you can help me, but I feel like, oh, look at the little baby. I'm going to just, I'm going to die of how cute it is. Look at it. I love it. I love it. Thistle down. What do you think? Oh my gosh. It's like, it's like running into a whole bunch of little thistle down siblings. So there's one runaway bunny. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Bunnies are fast too. Whenever we used to take our bunny out of its cage and we knew uh, like the doors might be opened or we'd take it safely into our backyard, totally while it's being observed, by the way. You don't just leave your bunny in the backyard unless you want a hawk to come on by, like just, just being honest here. Well, when we used to take our bunny out, we would put it on a little harness. You can buy bunny harnesses and it was a safe little bunny harness. Look at how cute it is. I, I just, I, I had no idea they're so cute outside the pack. <gasps> I would pay good money, good star stably star coin money in order to have a place where you could go in the barn and let, or even like a, a yard outside of the barn that you go into where you could leave your pets, your saddle pets and let them frolic and roam free. I would, I would just fall apart if that could happen. That would be amazing. Here's another bunny. But yeah, we used to take our pet bunny, um, all the time, Lacey was her name after Queen Anne's Lace, the flower. And actually, one of the little kids is <laughs> named Lacey Queen Anne's Lace, which I thought was pretty awesome because she was an all-white bunny. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. But we used to take her out all of the time in uh, her little harness. And we would just sit in the backyard watching her with her on the end of the lead. And she loved it. And she, we didn't treat our yard with any chemicals. so And we knew that none of the neighbors nearby did. So she was able to like safely eat some of the grass and the dandelions and have a grand old time about it. Um, but Lacey really, really enjoyed it. So I thought that was always good for her. So just keep that in mind. There's the last bunny! You guys are so much easier to find than the puppies. So it is possible to walk your bunnies. In fact, when we went up to Michigan to Ann Arbor to see if we wanted to move up there a couple months ago, you guys can actually look at one of my vlogs and we found a person walking their bunny. It was a pretty big bunny, but we found somebody walking their bunny at the Arboretum, which is like the big nature park there. It was awesome. All right, security guard, report. All the rabbits caught and accounted for, excellent work. Hmm. <laughs> Point three, find the kittens. Five kittens have deserted their post at the base, or I should say pet store. The runaway should be in Fort Pinta. These little kittens are sneaky and easily able to get behind enemy lines, so they will be difficult to find. Be careful, this is your most difficult assignment yet. Go, 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 go. All right, I'm on it, I'm on it. Okay, so now we're looking for kittens. <gasps> Look, there's a kitten. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Can I walk over there? Okay, I can't go there with Melody Warrior. Melody Warrior, or not Melody Warrior, I'm sorry, Rose Stone. I've got Melanie Warrior on mine because of all the horses that look like her everywhere here. <gasps> look at you! Na 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 na! Is it love? I think it's love. I'm in love. Look at look at look at him. Look at him. <laughs> I thought 
thought he was gonna fall off and my heart skipped a beat, but he's just being so cute. Like I said, I would pay such amazingly good money if it meant that I could just go ahead and actually put the pets out of out in the barn somewhere. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna die of the cuteness. It's just overwhelmingly cute, cute, cute. And so let's go ahead and continue looking for more kitties. So now we're looking for the lost cats. Can you tell how excited I am? This is fantastic. So apparently they're going to be a little bit harder to find. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled. I really hope they didn't go up the, the stairs, like on top of the towers. Because that would be a little bit more difficult to reach. But we'll just kind of poke around. Do we have any hanging out with the tourists? Or over, our, not over there. All right, look, there's one of the kittens. All right, so they like being up high is what it looks like. You kind of have to look up. Oh, I see one over by the barn. I see sparklies by the barn. All right, I can't believe that the puppy, you little one, and we actually bought the little one and said we wanted to keep it, who like was inside of the flowers. You were the most stubborn find of all. And then I did see something sparkly over here a second ago. So, aha, see, on top of this hay bale, is an adorable little kitten, a barn kitten. Do you just want to grow up and like catch all the mice? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. All right, so that's three kittens down. Egyptian, or I thought this said Egyptian elephants, like as a club name, and I was like, well then, that's a pretty interesting club name. All right, so we're gonna roam around here. Please be nice to us kittens and just stay in this vicinity. That would be amazing. So most difficult finds yet. Do you guys see any of them? Do they change? Oh, look, there is one up there! <gasps> sneaky, 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 mix, sneak, sneak, and there's another one! Okay, so we need to go all the way up there to get the other kitten. All right, whoa, easy there, Rose Stone. I couldn't even see what kind of kitten that was because I had, oh, there's a, it was playing with its friend! It was playing with its friend, that's so cute! There's another one up here. There we go. I had to snag it before Rose Stone, like, stepped on him. Mina Night Mountain. All right, easy peasy, Rose Stone. Easy peasy. We might go splash in the water, and we'll have Tim give us some interesting summer quests if things keep going this well. We're really tackling all of the quests at Fort Pinta pretty quickly. I'm pretty glad about that because I kind of left them for ages and ages and ages, and was worried they were holding us back from being able. To oh, don't do that! You're gonna give my little heart a heart attack, <laughs> flopping over on your side when you're so close to the edge like that, little kittens. All right, there we go. We're good, Rose Stone. We're safe now. We've got this. All right, so oh, that was really cute. That was actually really, really, really cute. And we're going to work our way carefully down the stairs. Rose Stone, I said carefully! <laughs> oh, I'm glad everyone's all right. I hope the kittens haven't, haven't like, scratched anybody. All right, and we're going to come over... And chit chat with the security guard again. Report! All the kittens have been found. Well done. Ah, oh, and now he needs some time. Planning session. Uh, get out. March. All right. So he is also needing a little bit of time to cool off before giving us the next quest. So let's actually go down and talk to Penny. I think that she may have some pony related quests for us pretty soon. And then we'll go see what Tim is up to because we might be able to do some interesting things with Tim. And if we still have some extra time, then we might actually finally go and buy that hibiscus shirt that I have been told about. And I have been thinking, yeah, I really need to get that before summer ends because it sounds like a great summer shirt. And I still haven't gotten it. It's just a simple hibiscus shirt, but apparently has pretty good stats, and I love hibiscuses. They're my favorite flowers. It'd be interesting to see if we could find some... Oh, yeah, and I want to get, like, some little flowers to put on Rose, uh, Rose Stone's rump. So maybe something perfect for Rose Stone's rump would be a good thing at the... Where am I going again? Oh, yeah, I was coming over to Tim. <laughs> I got so distracted because we've been doing so many quests. But maybe we can find something perfect to put on her rump. All right, let's wiggle our way over here. All right, Tim, and rinse, pill, dice, and slice, nice and tidy, neat and nice, beach balls here, the beach race. So, dirty towels as far as the eye can see. I think those are just like kind of repeats again and again so that we can do different things. And I think we're okay with some of that, but it would make sense, you know, we might do some stuff with him. Whoa, easy there, Rose Stone. I'm going a little too fast. It might make sense to go ahead and do some of his events so that we can say we're earning the spare money because I spent a ton of money getting our horses off 
to the horse island. There you go, Rostone. Sweet! That really is so fun. So we'll we'll clean up around the place for Tim a little bit. Maybe mix up some of our delicious vegan smoothies that I'm, I make every day in real life anyway. And then we'll see how much money we can earn to go spend at the mall. Because things are actually kind of pricey at the mall. And I haven't really spent my money wisely. Because I, I just have been tossing it left and right with Horse Island stuff. Fine! <laughs> That splashing really does make me think about summer. Oh, it's so much fun. And I love how you can see like the little shark over here. Those kinds of details. Like the dog that the councilman has. Those kinds of details just make my heart so happy. All right, there we go. We're on it now. I like how some people just sort of take their time and relax. There's Aline. She's our lifeguard. Yay, Aline. Keep everybody safe. I put the buoys back for you. So you should be able to do that. Oh, jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, Rostone. Oh, slow down. Rostone, stop. There we go. Ah, I had to just get Rostone to stop. She was about to walk right off the pier. All right, up we go. Rostone! I know you're eager, darling, but seriously. All right. And there we go. Oh, that was pretty easy. I thought it for some reason I could have sworn, hello, person. I could have sworn that the race took a lot longer than that. All right, so now that we're done with that, we'll run over and we might do just a few things over with Tim here. All right, so Rosestone, I'm going to let you and the new puppy and Thistledown, I kind of feel like they're all friends. I'm going to let you, the new puppy, and Thistledown hang out over here. New puppy, I know you love flowers. I think it's like sniffing and maybe chewing on the flowers on my, on the top of my head. All right, hey, Tim. <laughs> All right, we're done with that, Tim. Thank you so much. Okay. Rinse, peel, dice, and slice. So let's go ahead and shibby shibby thanks. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I have to wash them. I forgot about that. And we're gonna take care of the new ingredients and make up some smoothies just real quick. Hello, person. So washing that, there we go. Now that they're nice and washed, we're gonna have to come up and slice and dice them. And then we can earn a little bit of extra money. All right, rinse, wash, slice, and dice. There you go. There. Is that all you needed? Oh, that's all he needed. Dirty towels as far as the eyes can see. All right. It's just the tiniest bit of extra money. Let's see. Oh, wait. I was trying to go here. There we go. There. And we're just going to wrap these up as quickly as we possibly can. And I feel good. I'm actually one of those people in real life. And you guys know this because somehow Star Stable brings this out in me in the weirdest ways. Where I love doing my chores before I do something really fun. Or if I'm going to buy myself a treat, I try to tackle a project I've been putting off, like cleaning the bathroom. That's my... I hate that. I hate cleaning the bathroom. It's so awful. I can't do it without gloves on. I've worked as a CNA nurse, taking care of people, like helping them go to the restroom. But for some reason, I cannot handle... I just cannot, cannot, cannot handle handle cleaning the bathroom even if it's just in my own house but I make myself do that just like cleaning up all these dirty towels if I want to go buy something fun or do something like out of the ordinary and fun for myself all right let's see if we can sell these beach balls really quickly would you like a beach ball yeah she wants a beach ball sweet and then we'll run over here I think she's gonna turn us down wait am I supposed to be offering or no I think I'm just supposed to be leaving the towels at different locations so I'll see if I can zip over to those spots. I think she's going to turn me down on the beach ball awesome beach ball awesomeness. Yeah. All right. And then now that the towels are neatly folded, I think I was supposed to go over to him first and let him know about it. But that's okay. We've got two of these things done. And it's really fun cuz it does make you feel like you're just sort of spending time at the beach more often. What? I've been rejected? I thought Oh wait, there's somebody over here still, isn't there? I think there's somebody who hangs out over here. I can ask her maybe? Or did I already sell her something? I think I already sold her something. Fooey! Well, we'll figure it out. All right, let's pop over. There's a little pig there. All right, cleaned that up. Cleaned that up. And then we just have to sell the last beach ball. Roaster, do you remember who wants the beach ball? I think there's one more lady we can ask. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. All right. Very nice to see you. And I just need to find one more person to sell this beach ball to. Where is she? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right over here. I totally forgot she's hiding over here. All right. There you go, ma'am. Sweet. So the beach balls have been sold. 
And we've earned some extra money. So let's go over. We're going to go over to the mall. No horses on the dance floor. I'm sorry. Roastone, I think you've got the moves. All right. So we're going to go over to the mall. And we're going to see if we can find that hibiscus shirt everybody has been telling me to go buy. Because apparently bubbling brontosaurus is. That's so funny. Apparently it's really, really great, the hibiscus shirt, and we'll see if we can find anything to give to Melody Warrior, or just anything else that's kind of fun, because I see alerts every single week that say there's new things available at the mall. So, I will meet you guys over there, because I have to wait for the bus. I'm going too fast. Alright, there we go. I've got to wait for the bus, and I will see you guys back here, or back at the, the or at the mall in just a minute here. All right, and we're at the mall, and we're going to have to see what we can find here. I don't often come here, so we're going to poke around and see if we can find that t-shirt first of all. I guess I should kind of try to put on some sort of outfit that looks remotely, remotely summery. Hmm. So maybe I'll put the summer gloves on, and maybe the blue midsummer top for now, and maybe just like... Yeah, there we go. This is the, my usual summer outfit so far, so now we'll pop in and see if we can find the hibiscus t-shirt. Because apparently it's adorable. I actually really love coming in here. For some weird reason, it reminds me of The Sims Free Play. I can't really explain it. It's actually, you know what? If I was one of those people who had friends to roleplay with on Star Stable, wouldn't this just be like the best thing to do to be able to come and like try on clothes and just play around like that? That's fun. I love killing slimes and destroying big monsters in some games. Don't get me wrong, but this is something I think would have been really good for me when I was younger. So I hope you guys, or even like I know that, I know that there's certain grandmas, hi, who are out there playing and watching too. So really it's great for anybody. All right, and here is the summary flower t-shirt. It is at player level 9, which is what we are over. We're now at 10. Yay! And it's actually really good. Look at that. So much writing, a lot of command. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cute too. And there's little pink summer trousers that you can get. And they're much better than the current trousers we have. And there's even little shoes you can get to go with them. Basically, we could like upgrade everything. There's even this little summer flowery shirt that uh, that's there too. So riding, jumping, and command. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to buy it. There we go. And I want to put on... There's that. And I think I want the little the little outfit. Or do I have like a skirt that could go with it? Not really. Well, I kind of do, but they definitely don't look as good. Well, that's not terrible, but it doesn't look as good as the pants, and I do prefer pants. So, I think somebody's going to be happy, because I've had somebody comment like, Why do you always wear the, the pants from Moreland? You need new pants! And then it looks like the it looks like my cool south hoof cap is actually better than the brown sun hat, but I actually like the sun hat a lot for just being a sun hat. I'm a bit of a fan of sun hats. So I'm gonna buy that. And I need to be conscious that, of the fact I'm spending so much money. <gasps> Gardening tops! Oh my goodness! It's so pretty! And the skirt is so pretty too! I actually could, I, I hardly notice what I wear in real life, to be honest, but for some reason in Star Stable, I'm just like obsessed with making sure I'm wearing the best outfits. And we have our summery gloves, and we have the black equestrian gloves, which we wear pretty regularly, but there's fancy summer holiday gloves. Do these clothes vanish after a while, or do they always stay here? And I have no money. This is why I should be doing all of those little stable chores, you guys. This is why we do our stable chores. Even though sometimes some of you guys are like, No, Siri, don't do it. That's so boring, Siri. And then these little shorts. Uh, the shorts are cute, but not as good as our trousers. I like our trousers. I can't believe, I mean, I'm not somebody who's really into fashion. But you know what, guys? It's not like you have to be embarrassed if you are. Just go for what you love. All right, so I think we're wearing like one of the best outfits you can get. Now the hat that we can wear is not quite as good. Well, they're different, aren't they? Because this is jumping, so we wouldn't have as much command or carrying, but we would have more jumping. And I love it. <gasps> Our new summer outfit! How am I, how am I so excited about this? I don't know, but I am. Look at us! Oh my gosh! I'm so happy! I still want to wear our Midsummer Festival outfit, don't get me wrong. But that's for kind of being over in Silverglade Manor, and this is just for like being goofy and having a good time out on the beach. 
Like when we were helping out, running all over Fort Pinta, crawling on the ground, searching for lost cats, climbing towers. This would have been a good outfit to be wearing rather than my fancy dress with all of the fancy little, um, the flowers sticking all over the place. All right, so speaking of like flowers sticking all over the place and fancy flowers, let's see if we can find the perfect flower rump edition to put onto Rose Stone. So Rose Stone, we're gonna be looking at your tail end, my dear, and we're gonna be seeing if we can get her something to go on her tail that we really like as decoration. Hmm. So there are just like the traditional white flowers and that might actually work pretty well, especially with the current midsummer outfit that she's got on. Um, I'm not really a fan of the ribbons is the thing. Yeah, I'm really not. Are, can you get more like tail decorations? Like the sunflowers. I think somebody told me the sunflowers are available in Valdel. Maybe, is that true? You know what, you know what? I wanna go find out. We're gonna, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sold on those little tell flowers because we already have them and they stay on amethyst mist. So we're actually going to see really quickly, just for the sake of summer rump sunflowers, <laughs> we're gonna go see if we can go over to Valdel and oh gosh, look at our new outfit. Very cool. Maybe I should have gotten those new shoes. I should have probably gotten those new shoes. I know this is, what am I doing? How am, I don't know. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't recognize who I've become. Somehow you give me some star coins and tell me to go, it's shopping and I'm suddenly doing this. I don't know, I'm not gonna question it anymore. But I guess we could use some new shoes. I have no idea what we're wearing right now actually, <laughs> or why we're wearing it now that I think about it. We're wearing the black spring shoes. Spring shoes that were given to you by May as a thank you for your help. Um. There's probably like better shoes we could be wearing and you can sort it by level maybe. And then I wanna look at shoes apparently. And then these are level one. So let's see what's the fanciest pair of shoes we can. <gasps> Green beach shoes. They're kind of not quite my thing, but I like the idea behind them. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, should I get them? Oh, I really want them. Uh. I really want to, there's even these really cool, oh my gosh, look at the jumping on that. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I don't know which ones to pick. This is terrible. <laughs> Make up your mind, Siri. These things aren't that important, but they're kind of important. Look at that jumping. I want to get it. I'm going to get it for the jumping. All right, and there we go. Now I feel like I'm totally tripped out for summer. Wow, and I am, it looks like I'm ready to go gardening. <gasps> If only we could do the garden quest. All right, well, I'm actually gonna try to figure out, where am I going? I'm trying to get out of the, the mall. Let me go, mall! Oh, that's the way that's the way out, there we go. But I'm gonna go back and grab Rose Stone, and then we're gonna pop over and see if I can find her those sunflowers. Hmm. Should I try to find her the sunflowers now? Rose Stone! Rose Stone, my dear! Ah, there she is, waiting for us patiently. But I think someone said that you can find those Flowers at Valdel. Now, a lot of you guys are saying it said Valdel, and I don't know about that. There's a place near us that's spelled exactly the same that they call Valdel. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and in we go, Rosestone. We're just gonna pop over and we're gonna see. Nope, the village, please, not the lake. We're gonna see if there is something for horse rump accessories. And if that's the case, then we might buy her some fancy new flowers so that we're looking really good for whatever quests come to us Wednesday of this week. All right, so let's see. Where would I, maybe over here? All right, so let's see if there's anything available. Regina, how do you do? I don't see anything, no! Regina doesn't sell them. All right, there's food. Where would one find horse rump flowers? If one was looking, maybe over here? This is gonna be more for clothes. So I don't think this is it, or I just can't see them just yet. So phooey, that's fine. Don't worry, Rostum, we'll hold out for the best flowers. And we do have a new puppy, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm really excited about our new outfit. So it might be worth it to try going racing next time and seeing how we do in the races now that we've got kind of an upgraded uniform on. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.